Alright guys, so today is officially move-in day. We went to the leasing office, signed our lease officially, got our keys, did everything. And now we have three floors to move the whole U-Haul up. So I'm thinking about asking someone to help me, but I think I can get most of this up. Just me and Smell and my mom. Stuff came out not too bad so I just brought a load up we are on the third floor so it is gonna be a little tough and honestly I might be regretting getting third floor but the view is so good that it might be worth it and the lighting is probably better on the third floor than the first floor because I think that was the other one that was available only the first floor I don't think there was like a second floor two bedroom so we kind of had to give and take and get the third floor but we have a city view and it's really cool. I honestly can't stop staring at it because I feel like I just have never had this in my life, like a city view. So it's really cool. I'll show you guys an empty apartment tour. Um, it'll probably be up before this. Not sure what the order everything is going in. I'm like so breath. Can you guys tell? I'm like ah, I'm trying to catch my breath. Okay. These lights are really yellow and like the kitchen and stuff. You can see it's really, really yellow. It's honestly way more orange in person. I'm gonna try to ask if they can get like wider lights or something and if they can't then we're just gonna have to buy our own because this is not gonna work out. I mean like these are fine, they're just a little dim. I'd rather have like brighter lights in the kitchen. But I'm excited to be here and not excited to walk up all those steps. Third floor is killing us, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I know, honestly, me too. So this is what we have in here so far. It's actually quite a bit. We're gonna try to get some people to help us bring this all up. So I think I'm gonna be staying back here and they're gonna go out and try to find some people. So hopefully it happens because I'm honestly about done. It's just a lot. This natural light, wow. Wow. It would be better if the walls were white. Can I get a little dark in here? We are taking a little break. Because we did a lot, you know? We did a lot, a lot. But now we're going to have to start doing the layout of things. Yeah. Try to figure that out. It's going to be hard. But do you guys think this TV will be big enough? I say yes. Molly says no. So think about it. If I'm going to be watching TV all the way back here. I mean, I guess. I think so. The only problem is the cord has to run down. Hmm. Yeah, but aren't there like covers that we can get? Yeah, they're white. <laughs> so we need to paint the walls white, is what you're saying. That We're trying good. to Six. measure without measuring tape. And Ryan's about six feet, right? Six feet, two inches, I think. And the couch we're looking at is ten feet. No, so when you lay in front of me, you're five feet, and you cut our head off. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit longer than what you're looking at. So unless... Can I see your picture again? Mm -hmm. So you lay down now. Come on, you lay down, you five foot. Yeah, but five feet, this don't get up off the floor. So, if you're doing it, so it, that'll work because he's gonna, your piece is gonna come straight back. See? Yeah. So, yeah, this will work. It should, it should work. Maybe. Because this is another, what, four feet? Yeah. Oh, it's smelly. Okay. So, put your head down. We got one. Oh, thank you. Two. See, that's about all you can do, unless you want your sofa hanging up over here, which it looks like. all the way down where I need to be? Yeah. We found the goods. Four feet, five. Keep going, keep going. You want, you want your sofa to start right here? I guess so. This is nine, this is ten feet. We got everything out of the U-Haul, turned the U-Haul back in. We just have some stuff in Ryan's car and then a few things in my car, but we're going to shop till we drop and we're definitely going to drop. We are going to sleep so good tonight, I feel like. So our gas is still off on our apartment. We have water, so it's going to be a cold shower. Washing our sheets in cold, everything's cold until they turn it on sometime this week, I don't know when. So we are at Target now because 
We needed a couple more things and I thought that Target would be probably the best for those. So, we're here. This is the current situation. It's actually insane. We have not done any organizing. So, this is all the stuff we just bought at Target at Walmart. And then we have all the stuff that was in the U-Haul. And yeah, this is actually very overwhelming. But I have faith that we can get it all organized and just get it going, at least hopefully by tomorrow. Because I feel like we're just so pooped tonight. But we do need to get like the beds at least. So we're washing like all the bedding and we're hopping in the shower because we're already sweaty. And I don't know if I said this before, but so we don't have the gas turned on just yet. I think that's going to be turned on tomorrow. So we don't have warm water. So we need to take our showers when we're at our peak and the sweat is still rolling down my back. So I'm trying to like keep sweaty so I can like jump in right when I'm not like fully dry and going to be super affected by the cold water. All right, guys, I just showered, and now we are gonna put together the bed. I think we determined that the mattresses that we had were both queens, and hopefully that is correct because we wanted a queen in our uh, master bedroom, um, and then like a full in the guest room, which, yeah, I don't want it to be a queen because it is a bit smaller, and if I use it as my office and my guest bedroom, the bed will take up a lot of space so I don't know if we should just get like a sleeper sofa I guess we'll figure it out but we do have two mattresses right now so we might as well use them because Miss Brenda is here good morning guys it is the next day June 13th and we are going to just use this day to unpack. I need to hang up like all of my clothes because I don't think any of my clothes are hung up which usually I keep them on the hangers but this time since I was like living out of a suitcase and like I don't really have a closet I just decided to like throw them wherever like in bags and stuff so they're all everywhere. Right now I'm unboxing some kitchen stuff that my mom packed me and I thought this was so cute and like very clever she's a pinterest god but this is um a toy a paper towel roll and she put like steak knives in here she like labeled it and then taped the ends i do want to go shopping and maybe look at couches today because i really want to buy this one couch on wayfair but it is going to take like one to four weeks and i don't know if we can wait that long but i feel like it might be worth it to wait it is also kind of expensive, so if we find something good at like Haverty's or somewhere, we already checked rooms to go and I was not impressed with the selection that they had. So we just cut up all the boxes and put them in the recycling downstairs. It's a brutal walk in the heat. So yeah. We drove it. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm glad to get that out of the way. At least it's a little bit less crowded in our living room right now. We thought we would check out the couches around here. I'm like so dead set on this one from Wayfair, but it is going to take like up to four weeks. So I obviously don't want to wait that long for a couch, especially if we're going to have our TV set up and everything. I want to like use the living room while, you know, Ryan's off of work and stuff like that. So we thought we might as well just check out Haverty's because it's probably going to be faster. I'm not sure what we're going to be able to find in there and I think it's a little bit expensive. We have to take two cars. Miss Brenda's driving my car because um, we have the gas person. Um, he's going to call me and we have to be within 15 minutes of our house. So. so we didn't see anything at Haverty's. It was kind of expensive. The one couch I saw, like I wasn't in love with it. We went to Bath and Body Works, got some soaps for the bathrooms and kitchen and stuff. But when we were checking out, we got a call from the Austin Gas people. So we are on our way home. We have 15 minutes to get there and it's like literally 15 minutes away. It's finally gonna have some hot water in there. Gas guy just came. He literally took five minutes or less. So we're gonna go back out, go eat, and then probably shop a little bit more. Tell them what we got. 65 inch smart TV. Never had a smart TV of my own. Actually, I've never had a TV of my own, so <laughs> it was a big day, yeah. Never had a TV in my room growing up. 
Wow, how pretty. Queen. How exciting. We are back home and I'm really sleepy. We got our TV all set up, but the cable guy, he said he was going to come on next Tuesday. It is currently Thursday. And we're suffering without at least internet. Like, we just want our internet. We, <laughs> well, I just bought a couch. You did? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? I already told you. You didn't tell me shit. Yes, I did. You didn't. I did. I already told you I was going to buy it. Anyways, it's not even going to be shipped until July. Are you serious? Yes. I already told you. Three to four weeks. Probably four. Probably more. Anyways, um, so <laughs> my sister got me this a really long time ago, and I've never gotten the chance to use it, but I knew I was going to have the chance to use it one of these days, so I kept it around. And basically, it's those chairs that you can, like, fill up with wind and, like, clothes. So we're going to figure this out, because this might be our makeshift couch for, like, a month or two. It's called the Smooth Bag. That's what I have. I'm not really 100% sure how to... I know how. You want to move this bike out of the way, though? Okay. Anything? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. What? Hold this one.